Good morning, everyone. Don't you just love the rain? They say it only rained twice in State College, once for 40 days and once for 30 days. We are grateful that you were able to make your, a decision to come and celebrate the birth of King, the birth of the King, Christ Jesus. Our goal for today is to set our gaze upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to start off with a question. Do you want to be Mary this Christmas? Do you want to receive a gift that will not be taken away? All the gifts we ever receive are always fading away. They're all temporary. In one form or another, they are taken away from us. Do you even remember last year's gift for Christmas? I'd like to start with a story. There were two sisters. They were waiting, they were waiting for some guests. One of the guests was to bring a message. Both of the sisters eager to hear this message. When the guests came, one of the sisters decided to sit at the feet of the messenger, eager to hear every word out of his mouth. The other sister also wanted to hear the message, but she was so preoccupied with serving the guests. The message was slipping away from her word by word. In her busyness, her frustration towards her sister grew to a point that she stopped the guest from speaking. She asked the guest to tell her sister to get up and help her. But the guest said no. Her request was denied. He made it clear that the message is far more important than her choice to get preoccupied with all the busyness. I paraphrased a story that is written in the Bible. You can find it in Luke chapter 10. If you haven't guessed already, it's a story about Mary and Martha. Let's look at verse 40. But Martha was distracted with much serving. Serving is always a good thing. But look how it emphasizes on much serving. Then Martha says, Lord, do you not care that my sister left me to serve alone? Seems like she has a, a pretty good case. And a matter of fact, she keeps asking Jesus to tell her to help me. Now watch what Jesus says in verse 41. It says, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen the good part. When, when you compare anything to the message of Jesus, that Jesus brought, it does not measure up. And if Martha would have heard the message, she would have clearly known that. Sometimes we're so eager to please everyone around us that we miss the most important part. Now let's look at the end of verse 42. And Mary has chosen the good part which shall not be taken away from her. The gift that Mary received that day was by no means going to be taken away. When the king of the universe says something is not going to be taken away, he means it. We're in danger of getting so preoccupied with much service this Christmas. All the events, the rehearsal, the gift buying, the decorations, the extra cleaning, the cooking and serving many guests, we will get burned out. According to a study by Healthline, the pressure to have a perfect Christmas takes a toll on 41% of Americans who confess to working too hard to achieve that perfect holiday. The percentage jumps up to 49% for moms who put even more pressure on themselves. If we get bombarded with the hustle and bustle of the holidays, we will get exhausted. We will feel burdened. And I could assure you, we are in danger of missing the most important part, and that's Jesus. Please don't think that since I'm up here, 
that somehow this doesn't affect me. If it makes you feel any better, I wrote this message for myself, and it happens that you guys are listening to it. If you resonate with me, then join me as I continue. Jesus brings peace. Jesus brings hope. Jesus brings joy. And if we're losing our peace during this season, let's stop. We still have time. There's nine more days till Christmas. I encourage every one of you for this Christmas to sit at the feet of Jesus and absorb every word that he brings. The hope that was brought through the baby in the manger that later grew up and died on the cross for our sins and was resurrected on the third day, who is now seated at the right hand of the Father in glory and honor, who is coming the second time, not as a baby, but as a king of glory, full of power and might to take his bride, the church, with him and to judge the wicked. This is the message we must not miss. You know how you're, you might be working in the kitchen and the news are in the background. You technically hear the news, but since you're multitasking, you're really missing the full message. You can be sitting here, you hear what I'm saying, but in your heart and your mind, you're preoccupied with much. You're in danger of missing it. During this Christmas, let's ponder Let's ponder the words that Jesus brought. And I can ensure you, by the words of Jesus, that this gift will not be taken away. Now let me ask you again. Do you want to be merry this Christmas? Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've given to us. We ask that you would bless this service. We are honored with your presence here. Thank you, Jesus. May all our attention be set on you. Amen.